Then I'll tell you instruments for spiritual growth. Instruments for what? What are the things, what are the instruments, what are the tools for spiritual growth? What are the tools for spiritual growth? Tools for spiritual growth. Number one, instrument of spiritual growth is daily word intake. Daily what? Daily word intake. For you to have a sustainable spiritual growth, you must be someone who eats the word. The words were found and I did eat them. You have to eat God's word daily. The way you eat physical food. What the physical food is to your body is what the word of God is to your spirit. You know, if you want to have a normal child, you'll find out that they don't feed them very well. But when you want to have a very healthy child, they feed the child very well. If you want to have healthy, spiritual, sustainable growth, you have to feed on the word of God. So I hear. You can't crave for spiritual growth without the word. In Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. You hear me this? It is impossible to grow without the word of God. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his what? Which is able to build you up. Build you what? It's able to build you up. Growth. God's word is able to do what? Build you up. And give you an inheritance among all them that are sanctified. Your growth is tied to the word of God. No word, no growth. No word, no growth. Now, look at Jesus, the word himself, who was made flesh and dwelled amongst us, according to John 1, 1 and, 1 and 14. The word himself studied the word on daily basis. On what? That is Jesus, who is the word, went to study the word on daily basis, in Luke chapter 4, verse 16, look at what the Bible says here. I'll read 16. It said, And he came to Nazareth where he was brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for the what? As his custom, it was customary, it was daily. To so read, who was that? He read the Bible, and you, you will not read the Bible. I want to grow. Thank you. Jesus, the word, it was when he read the word, listen, oh, that you are born again does not guarantee that your inheritance will be delivered to you. The Bible said it was when he read the Bible, he discovered what was written concerning him. Which means your discovery is a function of your reading the word. You can never discover what is written about you until you read. And until you discover, you cannot recover your destiny. He read what was written concerning him when he read the Bible. But I said, as his custom was, and there was delivered unto him, verse 17, the book of the prophet Isaiah, which means Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, so they don't carry the Bible to sleep, you have to open it. They don't carry the Bible as inside the handbag, as decoration, part of your uh, eye pencils and all your documents in the handbag. No, the Bible is for reading. You know, okay, you know, I have one Bible in my, in my bag. No. It's not for decoration. It's for what? He opened and he opened the book and found the place where it was written. Until you open, you will not find. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. So this was about him, but he could not see it until he opened the Bible. Or if you close the Bible, you close your destiny. He opened, because it has anointed me to preach the gospel. Because God has anointed me to preach the gospel. He didn't see this until... He opened. May your destiny also be open. Yeah. He had a not to send it to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and he covered of sight to them that what? Blind. To preach the assembly of the Lord. And then he closed the book. May your eyes be open today. Yeah. As is cost, you know, because he opened the book, that was why nobody could touch him. Nobody could kill him. Nobody could molest him. He opened what? The book. In Luke chapter 2, verse 40, look at what the Bible said here. It said, And the child grew and was what? 
strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. He grew. He did not just uh, wish growth. He grew. Sickness had no power over him. Death had no power over him. May every evil tormenting you bow to you right now. He said, my people are gone into captivity. They are under my faith because of lack of knowledge. When you don't have God's word, any doctrine can sweep you. Now, God's word is the wisdom of God. It's the wisdom of God. So if you don't go for the word of God, that's the highest form of foolishness. Anyone that ignores God's word, it means you're foolish. It means you're what? Foolish. And I know you're not foolish. So you go for the word. Of God. If you want wisdom, then go for the word of God. Because with God's word, nobody can deceive you. Nobody can do what? Nobody can deceive you. Nobody can. That's why you want to grow spiritually, go for the word. Otherwise, if you don't go for the word, nobody can deceive you. Anybody can come with any funny doctrine and deceive you. But with God's word, nobody can turn you upside down. You too will know that you have to grow. So take it the word of God. Growth is a point. Number two, is constant fellowship. Constant what? Fellowship. Constant fellowship. Not just fellowship, constant fellowship. They grow from strength to strength. Psalm 84 verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. As in Zion we grow. Where will you grow? Fellowship brings growth. Hebrews 10 25. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. As a matter of some is, but exalting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. When you are an addict to fellowship, your life goes forward. May you go forward. Amen. Jesus was a fellowship addict. He was going to the temple daily. Going to the temple what? Daily. He was going to the temple daily. May you have that kind of grace. Amen. You know why it is important to grow from strength to strength? It's in Zion where you gather momentum to face the challenges of life. There are things you can't face if you don't appear in Zion. It's upon man's Zion there shall be what? It is, listen, people who read the Bible and don't understand. Upon man's Zion there shall be so deliverance is where? In Zion. Every time you come to Zion, deliverance is sure. So your deliverance is where? In Zion. It's in holiness. And it has to do with possess their. It's in Zion. We grow from strength. To strength. Where? In Zion. Everyone appeared before God. So I hear. In Zion, we come together as a family and face the challenges of life. We grow spiritually. You know, when the apostles were threatened in Acts chapter 4, they said they went to their own company. They went to their own what? Because in Zion, that's where you have your own company. And they stood and prayed, and this place was shaken where they prayed. Every devil. And I see you and I bow before us. Yeah. But three, tool for spiritual growth is prayers. Is what? Prayers. Effective prayers build spiritual muscles. It helps you to combat the challenges of life. When you don't pray, you make yourself a plea to the devil. That will not be your portion. Pray. Do what? Pray. If you want to grow, what do you do? Tell them about pray. pray. Tell them about pray. pray. Some of us don't pray at all. We wait for people to pray for us. No. As a Christian, learn to pray. Learn to what? Pray. Learn to pray. Develop your own self by prayer. Get up in the morning. Spend some time in God's presence. After you read the Bible, pray for the kingdom of God. Pray for yourself. Are you hearing me, sir? Don't just be waiting for people to be praying for you, praying for you, praying for you. No, no, no. You're not a prayer project. Learn to pray for yourself. You grow like that. You get up in the morning, pray in the spirit, pray in your understanding, pray and your muscles will be growing. You'll be growing as you pray. What any day you pray, you find out that you put evil far. Have you experienced that before? Check any day you pray. That day goes smoothly. Check any day you do not pray. Watch how the things will go. Find any day you do not pray, you will never be organized. You will quarrel everybody in your house. Your wife that did not quarrel you, you quarrel her. Because when you don't pray, sit and take advantage of it. Take any day you don't pray. Call it between husband and wife. And they don't pray well. That's the day everything will irritate you. They say, how are you? Say, why did you say, how are you, sir? Because, <laughs> so I hear, tell about pray. In Jude chapter 1 verse 20, it says, but ye, beloved, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You 
build yourself. Likedu gato braga seko kota kaka te brigidi agata. Anyone you pray, pray. Learn to pray. Learn to pray as a Christian, as a child of God. Pray and with occasional fasting. Educational fasting. Once in a while, fast. As a lifestyle, once in a week you should fast. As a what? As a as a lifestyle. Fast. This church will fast every Thursday. Some of you don't fast. Every Thursday we fast. So you know that? We, this, every Thursday is fasting. Whether we announce it or not. But some of you, even by 2 o'clock, you have eaten. And you want spiritual muscle. <laughs> you want to grow. You want to. He said, This kind going not out, but by prayer and fast. You want to grow fast. I will never forget years back and. I went to Shiloh and just in church, God said, I want to move you to another level spiritually. Now go for the first time in your life 40 days fast. Never told nobody except my wife and very few close associates of mine. I said, well, as we come back January, I'm not going to, I'm going to be on a fast. Church was not fasting. There was no declaration of church fast. Only me. I will fast like this. Fast, fast, fast. Fly back Saturday because I was fasting and staying outside the premises. Nobody knew. I'll fly to Lagos Saturday, come back Sunday, finish services, fly with it, and you know when you're, when you're fasting and they give you food on board the flight, you know how it is? So I would say, you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> but I, that was where I built my spiritual muscles. After that 40 days, I exploded in the miraculous. You can't just be thinking this. Mozzarella is it is something. Is he fasting? They asked him last week in Nigeria. He said he is fasting. At that age, going to 87 or so. You small, small, 40 something, 50 something, 60 something. He said, you know, you know this is my age. I go from France. <laughs> Some of you have never fasted one day. Yet you want to grow spiritually. Money, money, say, wait a tea. Wait a tea. You know, I've told people that tea and tear is one letter. T, just put R. What is it? If you don't resist, R is resistance. If you have no resistance to tea, you tear your life. Once in a week, as a child, at least one day fast. When the church owns is different, this was a lifestyle. Like here now, that's why we put Thursday. So that at least even if you don't have a Thursday, you can't be, we want to grow spiritually, no fasting, no prayer, hey, just money, money, just get up. It's not so live you. No, no, no. Say this kind going on out, but what? You know why you need to fast and pray? In Matthew chapter 10, Verse 1, Jesus gave them power over unclean spirits. Over what? And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of what? Disease. Are you hearing now? Here yeah, they cast out what? Devils. In chapter 17 of the same Matthew, they could not cast out devil of a particular boy. Chapter 17. 19 to 21. The Bible said, Then came the disciples to Jesus and father said, Why could not we cast him out? They could not cast out. In chapter 10, they were casting out demons. In chapter 17, they could not cast out devil. Is it that God is not with them? There's a level of challenge. Your spiritual muscle also has to increase. Are you going to say now? There are some challenges in your life. You have to grow to face them. You can't use the element six brain to write Wayek. You can't use Wayek brain to write degree exam. You can't use BSc brain to write the PAD thesis. As, as the thing goes higher, so you also go higher. There are some demons that you need to fast three days before they will go. There are some demons that you need to fast seven days before they go. Demons too, they have ranks. 
They are Crawford demons. <laughs> and they are, they are sergeant demons and the officers demons. I'm sure the one in chapter 10 was low rank officers. Then chapter 17 was general demons. So Jesus said, this kind of demon which is deputy to Satan. You can't cast it as by your prayer. <laughs> First. I gave you power. You were able to cast out the recruits. Now, the one who challenging you is a general in the demonic kingdom. Don't use the eye of what? Life story. <laughs> Life story. When lady came very wild, was mad, the brother. And plotted the five, I will never forget. They brought her, she was raking and raking and raking. Then this, this man who came, one of my, uh, he just came to visit us. My wife is here and she will be laughing. She knows the story. So the man came to visit us. So he went to the ear of the mad lady and said, Lose your hole! Lose your hole! <laughs> the woman turned and slapped him. I said, Pastor, what happened? He said, see this girl, she said, sister. <laughs> he went to, at that early morning, he took tea. <laughs> I said, I said, Pastor, you're fasting. I said, no, this kind of fasting. You know, we, we, we now have one of funny fastings. They have Daniel fasting, newspaper fasting, all, all that nonsense junks. That morning he was fasting. He said he was fasting. He said, Pastor, you're drinking tea. They said, yes, that's the kind of fasting. I said, this kind. And that morning he went. I said, lose your hold. The guest slapped him. <laughs> you know, you've stopped imitating nonsense. If you want to grow, do like Jesus Christ. Now these days, we say, no, there's Daniel fast. Jesus was without food, but he drank water. I said, thank you. <laughs> he was without food. You know, you can read the Bible and interpret it the way you like. Jesus was without food. They didn't say he was without water. Life story. <laughs> I sent a pastor to go to Bible school <laughs> in another church. So he came back and said, Sir, you know, the Bible said Jesus was without food. Not that he was without water. I said, Is that what you read in the Bible? I said, Okay. The pastor who taught you is not the visionary. The man who, who is the visionary is who you follow. That man fast. This one has not done anything. Life story, that same pastor left to the church where he was there, preaching that there was no, uh, Jesus was without food, not without water. He went to you, you, you are quite upset, to start a church. Two months he closed it. <laughs> so I called, I called the pastor, I said, you hear him? He said, you know, it's too hard. I said, you know, it's hard. He went there, and by the time they fly the night, I You use water in the morning. So, you know, do that. Like people fast and drink water. They say, do that. They drink water. Thank you. If you're fasting, my friend, fast. If it's three o'clock, stop three o'clock. There's no point drinking water. If you drink water, you have eaten. All the people that pastor mega churches, they fast. Oh, oh. You can't see a mega explosive church where the pastor will not fast. If you're drinking tea in the morning. And they put your hand like this and say, sit down. And they tell you, make it go. So that I will just look at you and say, you, after drinking tea, you are telling me to go. <laughs> My friend, if you want to grow spiritually, do what? Fast. Once in a while, fast. Not the one they announce in church as your own fast. He said, this can go on by fasting and prayer. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Will you grow? Yes. Now on the source of desire to grow. Desire to grow. Every Christian desire a time should come when some things you should not go for prayers. You handle them yourself. You cannot a Christian of two years still go for deliverance of what? That uh, which is in your compound. Yeah. A two-year-old born again. Some of you are even ten years. You say we are going to do family. Yeah. You can't deliver your family. I prayed and liberated my entire family three months as a born again. The entire family of where I came from, not my present family. Are you guys now? Three months as a born again, I stood and said, this, this family I came from must be out of this satanic grip. 
Three months as a believer. I came out with a holy hunger. I stood and said, every devil sitting on this family. Three months. And the entire family was liberated. How can you be born again and then be looking for a pastor to go and do deliverance in your village? You? No, now. Grow. Do what? Grow to a point. Say, every devil just standing on the path of this family, I crush you. Command you go down in the name of Jesus. Grow the challenges of life. They have no timetable. They have no timetable. You are hearing testimonies? There are some things no pastor will be around. There are some things no phone call can go through. It is only you and God. At that time, that's when you know that you have grown. Put your hands towards the devil and say, Satan, take your hands off here. Get out of here. Get a walk. Yeah. And he will yeah. grow. Tell him about grow. grow. It's good to grow. It's good. Grow. Don't see the way. I consciously grew. I used to shout before someone would get healed. Some of your pastors, two of them are here. Two of them have stayed with me for years. Before you get healed. Hey. Jesus! Fever! Go! By the time I'm done, these two sides will pain me. <laughs> Seriously, it will pain me like this. Only me will know. So when I'm through with three services, forget it. <laughs> I have to recover for two days. I say, if Jesus did like this, and if I come like this, I will die quick. <laughs> so I decided to do what? To grow. A time came, I had to eat Matthew to us with 40 days fasting to grow to another level. I said, Lord, I want to walk in the miracle. So I fasted. Is it I can read in three days? I ate them. I've, I've shared that testimony over and over. I told them, if you want to go in the miracle, eat Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, us. Underline every miracle of Jesus and tell God that you duplicate it wherever you are. You walk in signs. I ate them. I did what? Ate them. During the fasting, I moved to another level. I was happy. I started to again move again. You are, even I'm not satisfied though. I'm still growing. Now. I'm still what? I'm still growing. Well, growth is a, is a thing you did to your time on that is. Nobody said I've grown beyond. No, he said was anointed without measure. If you are anointed without measure, still <laughs> grew. Then you, the anointed with the measure. <laughs> Some of you, this is where you are. You have not even reached here. Are you satisfied? Eh? That you point out at the devil. He went out. Can't your face alone move the devil? Get to a point where your forehead, your look alone to make the devil fall down. I'm robbers just hearing their name, your name. That's, that's another level of growth. They just hear your name. They say, ah, no go. No go. That is how it will be. 